Records, record stores, record sales, it's all gone. And it's up to the young musicians to try and figure it out. There's no money in it, there's no record companies. It's free, you can download it. Nobody gets paid, so they can't afford to make music. That's what's happening. And uh, they're just cranking out uh, music that is like just a recipe. You know, nobody's playing at the same time. Everybody's adding on virtual, uh, virtual instruments that don't exist onto a drum machine that somebody programmed. And you can tell in the music that's out now. It's all been programmed. There's no mojo. There's nobody testifying. There's not the magic of a human performance, which is never perfect. And the magic of a human performance is what we all know and love in the old records, by the way they were made. And it's all gone. So we'll see what the digital age has in store. And, and that, I thought, was a good undercurrent to put in my album. Uh, the metal two verses are pretty high price to pay. Everybody know yeah. that? Yeah. It's on the and then you slam into another brick wall. One and four are the one we sang, and the middle two are pretty high price to pay. And then you slam into another brick wall. It's okay if it's uh, if it's loose. Yeah. Sounds cool. Mm -hmm. Circle. Right. 
about your mark Live your life like a wrecking ball You just keep carrying away When you bounce back from another close call Live your life like a wrecking ball Like a wrecking ball Gentlemen, is a Neil Young ending. Yeah. <laughs> Live your life like a wrecking ball. <laughs> Today we have a Mexican restaurant from New York City, uh, and we're going to make something I really like. And the restaurant is called Crema, and uh, the chef here is Julieta Ballesteros. And we are going to make, as I said, one of my favorites, chicken mole. And uh, first, I think we should talk about what all these ingredients are that you've been Hooray. mentioning. This is, looks really good, especially the animal crackers. I'm really interested <laughs> in this. Well, first of all, thank you for having me here. My um, pleasure. You know, Gusto es mio. Mole poblano, it's one of our traditional sauces in Mexico. So mole is comes from the word a thousand. So mole is made of 42 ingredients. So I have a question. This this sauce is made up of a mixture of all of these ingredients? Yes. Wow. Ah, yeah. now I understand. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so this is the result of all this. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Now I'm up to speed. Okay. Where do we go from here? Let's go. Oh, let's let's go over there and start. Right. Okay. Right. So, first of all, we're going to drop the oil. Mhm. Mm okay. And first of dropping the onions, I want to drop all of my spices, you know. So I see star anise, yeah. I see star anise, uh, cumin, uh, cumin, coriander, yeah. my okay. oregano, mm -hmm. anise star. And, Go ahead. Okay, and just put this in yeah. now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where are the chilies in here? Oh, these. Oh, perfect. Drop them. All of them? Yeah, all of them. All, all of them? Wow. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, be very so generous. Oh, yeah, stir it, stir it. I I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you oh, have to yeah, be more okay. aggressive. Right, yeah. Yeah, aggressive, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, you can smell everything. Oh, yeah, oh and yeah. you're doing a great job. Everything is so cooked evenly. Wow. Good work. So we add to um, have some sweetness and raisins. Who doesn't love raisins? Pasas. I don't know, not many, but. Okay. Everybody I know. Good album title. Okay. <laughs> love raisins. Now we're gonna have honey and sugar cane. You need to scrap like that aroma, the, the bottom. It's really amazing. Yeah. Wow. No, it's complex. It's yeah. really holy. It's yeah. Okay. Get it all. Get it all. Get it all. All right. And cinnamon sticks. I love cinnamon sticks. Mm -hmm. Smell it. You can. How do you like, say cinnamon in Spanish? Canela. 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 Chocolate. Chocolate. Chile. How do you say animal cracker? Galleta de animal. Galletita de animalitos. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least is the Mexican chocolate. And this is the most... You're really just going to put it in like this. Wow, that's amazing. It's right there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're doing an amazing they job. Need a shovel. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. yeah nice you're very job. good. Yeah, you can wow. Put chocolate down in there. Can I hire you tomorrow? Uh, yeah. Yeah? What are you doing yeah. Saturday? That costs extra, though. <laughs> <laughs> How much? Oh, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll talk about that yeah, later. People okay. So we're ready put, to put our stuff. And you sound the sizzling of Whoa, everything. Oh, yeah, here we go. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do a little bit of our mole sauce. Then we're going to slice the our flauta, which is like a beautiful um, enchilada de papa. We're gonna do our beautiful chicken, okay? Cut in slices. And then we're gonna put some beautiful pomegranate seeds on top. Actually, I wanna taste this. Okay. I think it's important to get a and little more And you know, deepen into the salt, mm -hmm. yeah, with a little bit of the enchilada. Oh my God, you know what you're doing. Wow. Well, I I know, yeah. how, I know how to eat food. Perfect. I love that. And I've been known to eat food. And dipping into the sauce. Yeah. There we go. So they traded chocolate to the Europeans? Yes. Is that right? Yes. 
What about animal, animal cracker? I, I don't know about animal crackers, but I know about Logical. chocolate. Yeah, one uh, point it's really very good. Crackers.